Hello everyone! In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the pineapple peacock shawl. It was designed by Amy Gunderson and I want to say thank you to Amy for letting me create this video. Please check out the description box for additional information and links to the pattern. To begin I've grabbed some yarn and a hook. The pattern calls for universal yarn major and that's 100% acrylic in 111 jewel and it calls for two balls. The hook they call for is the K-10.5, which is a 6.00 millimeter hook. I'm going to be using these Karen Cakes and a J 6.00 millimeter crochet hook. And my shawl will probably come out a little bit different than the pattern because I'm using obviously different yarn and a smaller hook. I also grabbed my scissors, a few stitch markers, and a yarn needle. Next, we will create a slip knot. and chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to create a ring by slip stitching to our very first chain. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, and pull it through and through for the slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. This counts as a double crochet. And then place 12 double crochet into the ring for a total of 13 double crochet. To double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through last two loops. We're going to do that 12 times and then I will see you in just a minute. At the end of row one, this is how my work looks. I have 13 double crochet. We're now going to turn to begin row two. Chain four, one, two, three, four. This counts as our first double crochet and chain one. We're then going to place a double crochet, chain one, into each one of our previous double crochets. So I just double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, double crochet, chain one. Continue this all the way across and then don't forget to add a double crochet right into your very last stitch here which is that chain from the beginning. You should have 13 double crochet at the end of this round. Here is my work at the end of round two. Now we're going to turn our work to begin row three. Row three is chain five. One, two, three, four, five. This row is going to be similar to the row we just completed. So this chain five at the beginning will be a double crochet chain two. Double crochet into your next double crochet. Chain two double crochet, chain two. Repeat this all the way across. Again, you should have 13 double crochet and each double crochet will be separated by a chain two. Here is my row three complete, ready to begin row four. Turn your work and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now this chain six at the beginning will be a double crochet, chain three. And we're going to repeat this again. So a double crochet in next double crochet, chain three. One, two, three. Double crochet in next double crochet, chain three. One, two, three. Repeat this all the way across. And again, we should have 13 double crochet at the end. Here I am at the end of row four. To begin row five, turn your work and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Double crochet into the same stitch. This chain five is going to count as our first double crochet, chain two. So by double crocheting into that same stitch, 
we've just completed our very first V-stitch. Chain two, one, two, and place a double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain two, one, two, and now we're going to V-stitch into the following stitch. So double crochet, chain two, one, two, double crochet into the same stitch. Now chain two, one, two, and place a single double crochet into the following stitch. We're going to repeat this all the way around, placing a V-stitch, chaining two, a single double crochet, chain two, and a V-stitch. At the end of this round, we should have seven V-stitches and six double crochet. Here's what my work looks like at the end of row five. And as you see, we began with a V-stitch and then I ended with a V-stitch. To begin row six, you want to turn your work and slip stitch into your very first V-stitch. So just slip stitching into that stitch. We're going to start with a beginning cluster. So a beginning cluster is chain three, and then basically double crochet three together. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, three loops on the hook for the double crochet, yarn over, pull through two loops, and stop. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and stop. Yarn over, insert our hook, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. We have five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And now we have the remaining four stitch loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. That is a beginning cluster. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and place a cluster stitch into the same stitch right here. And a cluster stitch is basically double crocheting four together. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. There's our two double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And there, as you see, is three. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have one, two, three, four, and we have five loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops. So there's our beginning cluster, chain two and cluster. Chain three, one, two, three. Double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Now we're going to place a cluster, chain two and cluster into this same V-stitch. So we're going to place our first cluster, which again is a double crochet four together. Chain two, one, two, and cluster again into that same stitch. Now chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and there we are at the next V-stitch, and we're going to repeat what we just did in this V-stitch. So cluster, chain two, cluster. Go ahead and repeat this all the way across, and I will see you in just a minute. At the end of row six, I have seven sets 
of cluster stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's what that looks like. To begin row seven, turn your work and slip stitch into this chain two space. We're going to start with a beginning cluster. So chain three, one, two, three, and then our cluster. So kind of like a double crochet three together, chain two, and then place another cluster into the same space. Now chain four, one, two, three, four, double crochet in that single double crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and then into this double cluster in this chain two space, we're gonna place another double cluster. So cluster stitch, chain two, cluster stitch. There's my chain two, and another cluster stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to place a double crochet in the next double crochet, chain four, and then in each one of these chain two spaces, you're going to place a double cluster which is of course your cluster stitch, chain two, cluster. At the end of this round, I will meet back up with you for row eight. And here is row seven complete. Now row eight is going to be basically a repeat of row seven, except for when we go ahead and chain here, like for row seven, we chained four. For row eight, we're gonna chain five. So same thing, we're going to slip stitch into the center of that previous cluster set and chain three to do a beginning cluster. Chain two and place another cluster stitch. Now here's where it differs from the previous round. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Double crochet in your double crochet. And chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then cluster, double cluster into this chain two, just like you did with round seven. Go ahead and repeat this all the way until the end and I will see you again for the next round. Here is my work at the end of row eight, and we can begin row nine. So turn your work, slip stitch into the chain two space, and beginning cluster, one, two, three, chain two, and cluster into the same space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and into our single double crochet right here, we're going to place a V stitch. So double crochet, Chain two, one, two, 
and double crochet into the same stitch. Chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then into your next chain 2 space, place a double cluster. We're going to repeat this all the way around. And at the end, you should have 7 double clusters and 6 V stitches. These chains, of course, are chain 5. I will see you in just a minute. Here I am at the end of row 9, ready to begin row 10. Now to begin row 10 is basically an exact repeat of row 9. So we're going to turn our work and you're going to place your beginning cluster into your chain 2 here. So that beginning cluster. chain 2 and cluster then chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 and into this chain 2 space of your v-stitch you're going to place another v-stitch so just a double crochet chain 2 and double crochet. Chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then into your next chain 2 space, place a, another double cluster. So, of course, your cluster stitch, chain 2, cluster. Continue all the way around, and I will see you for round 11. To begin row 11, turn your work. and slip stitch into your chain 2. Do a beginning cluster, chain 2, 1, 2, and cluster. Now chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And into this chain 2 space, we're going to place 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 more double crochet. So 1, 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 more double crochet into the same space. Chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then place your cluster, chain 2, cluster. You want to repeat this all the way around, and when you get to the end, we can begin row 12. To begin row 12, I'm just turning my work. and slip stitching into that chain 2 space. Do a beginning cluster, 1, 2, 3, chain, and 3, double crochet together, chain 2, 1, 2, and the second cluster into the same space, 4, double crochet together, Now chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and into the chain 2 here, we're going to place 3 double crochet, 1, 2, 3, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and three more double crochet into the same space. One, two, 
and three. I apologize for that background noise. That was some snowmobiles going by. Now after that double crochet three, chain three, and double crochet three, we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. And place a cluster, chain two cluster into our chain two space here. Continue in this fashion all the way around, placing your cluster, chain two cluster, into those chain two spaces. And then after that, you're going to chain five, double crochet three, chain three, double crochet three, chain five. All the way around. I will see you for row 13. Thank you for watching part one of this three part tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a like and a comment. I will see you again in video number two.